And as you make those plans for shopping, just know you'll be needing that coat for a while. We're talking about much cooler temperatures over the next week or so. And in Magic Valley spots, we saw the snow continuing to fall this afternoon, but it has been very light in these afternoon hours, so it will continue to dwindle. And you saw all that moisture on the roadway and on the side of the road there in the snow. And this is what we're going to see is the exact recipe what we would need for fog. So when we look at fog chances, we need precipitation, which we have in the form of snow and the melting on the roadways, clearing skies, which we will have tonight in Magic Valley spots and cooler temperatures, which we will definitely have uh, in the overnight hours. Look how cold we're talking about for the morning teens, the low expected lows for Magic Valley spots, single digits near Stanley and the 20s and teens for some valley spots. So we could see fog specifically in Magic Valley spots where we've seen that snow and the cooler temperatures. Also through this afternoon, you'll mainly feel some of those stronger winds towards Ontario and Caldwell as that low pressure continues to track to the east. And as I mentioned, we have that cooling trend and more stable conditions on the way for us, which we could see some haze building ahead with those stable conditions, but that's not right now. You can see things very clear as we look towards Bogus Basin. You can see some of the snow in the higher elevation there. Definitely chilly outside right now, though. We're in the 40s in some of those valley spots. Ontario is the warmest spot on the map today. Almost a 20 degree difference from what we're feeling in Magic Valley spots, just 29 degrees right now. And so if you're for people at the Boise State game today, it's definitely on the cooler side, but that sunshine really makes a big difference for us. And so at least as we go through the next few days, we have the sunshine sticking around and that will help make things feel a little bit warmer for us. So as we look through the weekend for valley locations, we're talking about highs typically pretty close to what we're seeing today. But as we look towards the mountains, things are going to be staying similar as well, but much cooler than in the valley. So we've got those highs closer to the upper 30s and 40s. And then as we go to Sunday, we're seeing cooler conditions as well. So last year on this day, it was much warmer. We had a high of 46 degrees. The low was 25, which is pretty on tap for average for this time of year. But this was after a long stretch of highs in the 30s. Last November, we had 15 days with highs below 40. And if you remember, just last weekend, we were talking about highs in the 60s. So it's a big difference in feel for this upcoming weekend. So here's what's going on in our upper air pattern. You can see this low pressure that I mentioned is going to continue to track off to the east. Much cooler air staying behind it. And then we also have that high pressure coming in, creating those stable conditions. And so one thing that can happen with valley locations, when we have the stable conditions and cooler air, that cooler air gets trapped and we talk about very cold temperatures. So for Magic Valley spots, we're talking about single digit lows in the week ahead, not yet, but as we go into next week and in Boise specifically, we're talking about those lows in the 20s in the same time frame. So definitely some cold conditions are on the way for us. So yes, keep the coat in rotation.